Hello and welcome back to another episode of Twig and this week Galaxy have said that they are currently preparing for season 5 so in this video I'm going to be talking a bit about when season 5 is most likely to be released and also a bit about what updates might potentially come out as part of the season 5 update so yeah let's get into the video so normally at this point in the video i would show you the change logs for this week's update but this week there hasn't been any proper change logs instead galaxy have just given us this message which says our team is hard at work preparing for season five no official update this week we'll roll over the minor updates from this week into next week's log so although there hasn't been a proper update this week there has still been some shop changes so the new items in the shop this week are the epic butterfly girl orange avatar the epic gamer blue avatar the rare snow leopard tail avatar the rare snow fox tail avatar the legendary angelic warrior avatar and the epic fabric bunny avatar so when i saw galaxite's little message from this week that's there to sort of explain why there's no proper change logs this week and i read that galaxy are hard at work preparing for season five that reminded me that we are getting closer to the end of this season and that means we're getting closer to season five so i wanted to get a bit of a better idea of when to expect season five to come out so i decided to make a rough estimate of when we might expect season five to come out um, I mean, obviously, I can't give an exact date, like, Season 5 will come out on this date. Um, that's just not possible. I don't think even anyone at Galaxite could do that. Um, but we can get a rough idea of when Season 5 might be released. So, um, yeah, that's what I did. Basically, looking at the lengths of all of the previous seasons, you can get a rough idea of how long Galaxite seasons tend to be. And I think most people would probably know that Galaxite seasons tend to be around four months long. Um, yeah, I think most people would probably say like three or four months. Um, but yeah, it's not exactly that simple because season one was three months long. Season two was four months long and season three was just under five months long. So there is a bit of variation in the lengths of different seasons. So yeah, because of that big variation in season length, we can't just assume that every season is going to be exactly four months long. I can't just say season four is going to be exactly four months long. And since it came out on the 13th of July, that means that season five will come out on exactly the 13th of November. Um, yeah, we just can't do that. It's not that simple. Um, so yeah, it is a bit confusing that there has been like seasons with quite a big range of different season lengths. Uh, but yeah, I think one way of trying to make it a bit less confusing is by looking at each season one by one and trying to decide why that season was that long. So first of all, season one was three months long, which is a lot shorter than all of the other seasons. But I think there is a good reason for that. And I think it was just a one off shorter season. And that is because season one uh, came directly after season zero. Season zero doesn't really count as a proper season because it Galaxite wasn't officially released uh, in Season 0. Galaxite officially released when Season 1 came out. But between Season 0 and Season 1, not much really changed. Like, there was quite a few changes in Galaxite, but there wasn't a new game or anything. So, yeah, and Season 0 was one month long. So if you add up the one month from Season 0 to the Season 1 length of three months, that gives you around four months, which is a bit closer to what we might expect for the length of a Galaxy season. So I think that is why season one was just three months long. And we can just sort of assume it was around four months for the sake of trying to get a general idea of how long seasons tend to be. Then there's season two, which was four months long. And I don't think there's much to say about season two. I think it was just sort of like average just sort of a normal length which would make sense that it's four months because that's what most people would say the normal length of a season would be and then there's season three which was just under five months long uh, it was about a week under five months and that is a lot longer than the other seasons it is a bit strange like why is that season so much longer than you would expect well, there is a really good reason for why it was longer than you would expect, and that is because it was supposed to be shorter, it was supposed to be closer to that four months that you would expect, but there was some delays, 
and um, yeah, basically Galaxy was supposed to be releasing season four on the 1st of July, because Galaxy made an announcement, like season four will be released on the 1st of July, but it didn't actually end up being released on that date, because um, there was some things, some problems that Galaxy had to face, and uh, yeah, season four ended up coming out on the 13th of July. So that's 12 days longer than it, would, uh, than it was supposed to be, uh, season three. So um, yeah, that is why it is longer than you would expect. It was supposed to be like about a week over four months, which is a lot closer to the four months that you would expect, but ended up being closer to five months. So yeah, it is sort of uh, more evidence to show that the normal length for a season is about four months. So now we've looked at each season individually, we have sort of come to the conclusion that seasons do tend to be around four months long. Uh, you could say that the general length of a season is slightly above four months because uh, season three, it was like uh, longer, quite a bit longer than four months, but it was still supposed to be about a week longer than four months. So you could say it's still supposed to be a tiny bit longer than four months, but I would say generally four months long is like the general length of a season. So that is one factor to consider when deciding when season five might be released. But also the day of the week that seasons tend to be released on is also an important factor to consider because um, that will help to narrow it down to a specific set of dates that a season could be released on because most seasons are released on Thursdays. Um, or at least supposed to be released on Thursdays because uh, season four was supposed to be released on a Thursday but it ended up being released on a Tuesday. But yeah, out of all of the seasons, they've mostly been released on Thursdays with yeah a few Tuesdays scattered around and also season zero was released on a Wednesday. But that is three days of the week, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And we can sort of like get rid of Wednesday because that was just season zero. So Tuesdays and Thursdays but mostly Thursdays, and that does make sense because Thursday is Galaxite's normal update day. That's when the changelogs come out and when most of the updates happen. So yeah, I think Thursday is a very good uh, shout for what day of the week season five might be released on. And about four months after uh, season four was released is sometime in November. And there's four Thursdays in November coming up. So the first one, is on the 4th, which I don't think season five will be released on the 4th of November, um, just cause that is sort of less than four months. And then uh, about four months after season four was released is the Thursday, the 11th of November. So that is also um, a potential date when season five might be released. But then also there's other Thursdays in November, which are the 18th and 25th. And I think the 18th is probably one of my favorites for what day it could be. I think that's probably what I would say it's most likely to be on. Although also the 11th is a possibility. But of course it could also be released on another day of the week. Um, but yeah, I would say generally sometime in November. Um, possibly between say the 9th of November and uh, up to I would say the 25th is when we could expect it to be released but particularly on a Tuesday or Thursday but particularly Thursday that's sort of what days of the week I would expect it to be released on. So I've talked a lot about when season 5 might come out but before the video ends I just want to quickly talk a little bit about what I think might be in season 5 like what things will be part of the season 5 update. Um, I mean first of all there's the obvious things like a new season 5 battle pass and also we've come to expect a new game in every Galaxy season so I don't see why Galaxy won't have a new game in season 5 so there will probably be a new game in season 5 but we don't know what that new game could be and we don't know what will be in the new season 5 battle pass when that comes out so yeah we don't really know much we don't have much information to go off because normally Galaxy like to give little hints about what will come out in the new season before it does come out um, and we've seen lots of hints in the past for new games, but so far we've not seen any hints or at least none that we like know of, none that we know are hints. So yeah, it is really tough to try and predict what might come out in season five when we don't really know much. 
but there are other things that we can sort of predict like one thing i think we probably will see in season five is some sort of a new hub um, maybe not like a completely new hub but um sort of i would say a winter themed hub we might see because uh season four came out was sort of over the summer it's like season four went on over the summer so we had a summer themed hub and it has also been like just last week it was changed to a halloween themed hub because of the halloween update that went on at the same time so maybe galaxy are starting to do some sort of seasonal hubs and we might see something like that happen in season five because when season three came out we had a new hub that we got but um then also with season four coming out we also got a new hub with that so i wouldn't be surprised if we saw a, another new hub with season five but yeah that's just sort of one idea that i have about what we might see in season five so that's it for this week's episode of twig if you enjoyed it please leave a like and also if you've not already please subscribe because it really helps me out and it also means you won't miss any future episodes of this series so yeah bye